We're going to be working off the draft annual plan for the adoption of this week. Too long in here to say that. So, really put it. And the piece of the box. Which box did you put the name to? It was the last one. The reason I'm still on there is somebody. Yeah, yeah, pay attention to it. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, to this um, last month of June, last month of June, coming our most important for the year. Uh, this meeting will be reported and subject to report in May. Being a suitable policy will be made available in the future future channel. Uh, it's a really emergency. The suffering of a few other cases, but we need to evacuate the building using an emergency exit to head towards Stetson Street and assemble on the playground area. Please remain at the assembly area until the building has been completely cleared. You probably will memorize that with a number of reasons we had for the last four weeks. Um, the information, uh, Brendan, would you like to read that? Certainly. South Warrior for District Council information. We pledge that we faithfully and impartially use our skill. Wisdom and judgment create discussions and deliberations ahead of us today in order to make responsible and appropriate decisions for the benefit of the South Warren District at large. We commit individually and as a council to the principles of integrity and respect and to upholding the visions and values we have adopted in our long term planning strategic documents in order to energize, unify, and enrich our district. Thank you, Councillor West. Right. Apologies. We have apologies for Councillor Maynard. Do you have any other apologies? Apologies for Councillor Maynard. Councillor Pimas, Councillor Polenzo. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those against, motions. Participation. There are no public participants. Uh, extraordinary business. Do you have any extraordinary business? No, no extraordinary. Business. So, minutes of confirmation. We're considering the table minutes from the 10th of June to the 23rd of June. We'll do the 10th of June first. Are uh, there any corrections needed? Um, do we have a mover that the council, the minutes the council meeting held on the 10th of June, 20th of June, are a true and correct record? Councillor West seconded, Councillor A. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those against. Motion is carried. We'll now do the 11th of June. Did you have anything to get to? Thanks for being here. Yes, certainly. Um, so the table minutes from the 11th of June. Um, are there any corrections needed, Councillor Jepson? I want to move the correct uh, Anyone corrections in one? Right, so yes. Um, um, under deliberations, um, it mentions um, by the Great Council Trust Land, and it should be a Great Council Trust Land Trust. Make an adjustment. Thank you very much, Councillor. Yes. 
of the internet. Do have someone moved to accept the minutes? Councillor Jensen, seconded. Yeah, Councillor Ems, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 All those against, the motion is carried. They will have an answer in the minutes on the 17th of June. Do we have any corrections, Councillor? Next time I move to the seat of the minute, Councillor Glenzo, seconded to Councillor Fox, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 All those against, the motion is carried. And finally, <laughs> that's one of the
Um, uh, and yes, I'd, I'd also like to add my uh, my voice to thanking uh, all the councillors for your patience um, and the time for your time frame. It certainly hasn't been ideal, and we have asked a lot of you, and we uh, can appreciate the fact that it's been done so through the process. So I'm happy to go through the, um, the report and the resolutions of the report if you wanted to do that, or you wanted to have a look at Councillors, well, I, I would be quite useful to hear, I think, uh, Karen, this stage, we can ask questions from you. Do you want to have that? Okay, I'll, I'll take you through the resolutions then. Um, so the, the first resolution has been accepted. So the second recommendation then um, uh, is something that we did speak about, about the water supply. Um, and then the third recommendation um, works to that in that we are clarifying there that the, um, the budget that's been set aside for water supply, um, we haven't actually um, specified that in our discussion, but like naturally, necessarily, that, uh, that needs to be included just for completeness. Um, and then working our way through the water conservation action plan and wastewater, and similarly, recommendation six looks to that additional $1 million funding that we haven't specified um, but that actually follows from the discussions that we had. Um, the rest of the recommendations, seven, eight, nine, and ten, um, we had um, spoken about, um, and eleven, sorry, um, the previous de deliberations. Um, recommendation twelve is something that I would just added in for more clarification. It's sort of like a financial workshop. Um, just to get more direction from council on um, what it means to have a look at other options. Um, and we've had discussed um, obviously going away and uh, just going up options analysis for the space and um, bringing that back to council um, for uh, your consideration. Uh, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> 20. 21, 22, 23, uh, sorry, that's 22. So they're all in relation to the deliberations mm -hmm. that we've had. Uh, the other um, recommendation was in relation to grants. We have had, had previously spoken about and also have been included in financial information that in front of you. Um, but this is, these are recommendations specifically to allocate that total budget for the grants, grant funding, um, to be distributed in accordance with the, uh, the grants policy that was recently adopted by council. As you remember, we separated, of course, the grants process out from the open plan process. Um, in order to do that um, uh, at speed, we need to come to today to uh, actually establish the grants subcommittee, which is the subcommittee of the finance committee. Um, and that committee will come to them and we'll consider um, the grants. Uh, so our intention is that we open up the applications for grant funding uh, as soon as possible tomorrow um, uh, and have that open for a month and then we will uh, have hearings uh, and deliberations soon after in August to all those grants. Um, if we want to do as quickly as we can, we know that our community is um, looking forward to having uh, a successful grants application. Uh, and 25 is the membership of the grant subcommittee that uh, has been appointed today. Uh, we agreed uh, recommendation 26, um, the method of um, our, our finances around the plan. We actually clarified that again. And then the 20, um, 27, um, we have uh, making it clear that we are carrying that we actually need a resolution to carry as I have looked at in the from last year. Um, answer from this year to, uh, to next year, so that's simply tidying that up. Um, and then we get to actually adopt it. So, Karen, is that this one? Is that this one? It's from this last financial year. Oh, no, sorry. It's just 1920. No, you're right. Sorry, that is the time I think it should be from this financial year to next financial year. So, we can sort that out, please. Um, well spotted. Um, yes, and then there's adopting that actually come to adopt the annual plan, which we have to do um, 
today because it has to be done by the end of the um, And there are some we recognize the last of my typos. Um, I think there was some might be looking at version one. Because oh. on version two, it does say carries over operating and cover expenditure from 19, uh, from 
uh, we resolved to approve additional funding, additional funding of two point eight million dollars for water supply and safety in the main main fifty forty mile budget. I'd like to move that. That's a box seeking it, that's a victory again. All those in favor, please say aye. All those against, motions carry. Uh, resolution four, we resolved to develop a water draft water conservation action plan in the 2021 year. Uh, the Council Plymouth, seconded with the Council Jensen. All those in favor, please say aye. All those against, motions carry. And we resolved that we agree to that wastewater should also be a focus for the 2021 year. Moved by Councillor Ames, seconded by Councillor Hay. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. All those against, motions carried. We resolved that we include additional funding of $1 million for wastewater disposal in the annual plan 2020 budget. Moved. That's the box, seconded, that's the plumber, all those with that, please say aye. All those canes, it's carried. We've moved, uh, resolved to continue to trial extended swimming pool hours for an additional 12 months and obtain data to determine the success of the trial. Moved Council Plumber, seconded, Council Colenso, all those with that, please say aye. All those canes, it's carried. Number eight. Uh, we resolved that we provide all green space for the city of creation of the Great Town. Councillor Moves, Councillor Ian Seconded, all those in favor, please say aye. All those against, motions carried. Number uh, nine, we resolve that we do not proceed with the Great Town Rugby Club land purchase of up to $1.91 million. Moved by Councillor Rickery, seconded by Councillor Hay. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those against, Motions carried. Uh, resolution 10, we resume the result that we do not proceed with Greytown Water Club land purchase of up to $760,000. We will move that. Councillor Quinto, Councillor West, seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those against. Aye. Motions carried. Uh, resolution 11. Resolved that the council will enter into discussion with the Great Town Trustman's Trust to see if there are any other ways of securing the Great Town Rugby Club and Golden Club land with a view to consulting on this and other options in the long term plan. Really thank you very much, Councillor Jepson, Secretary of Council Box. All those in favour, please say aye. All those against, the motion is carried. Resolution 12, Council, uh, we Resolved to direct officers to report to the council on the scope of an options analysis to provide more green space for sports and recreation in Greater and update the council on discussion with the Greater Council Trust. So I move that, Councillor Jensen, seconded by Councillor Plummer, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion is carried. We resolve to contribute $1 million towards the current region college gymnasium replacement. Subject to finalising the detailed proposal, completing due diligence to the Council's satisfaction. If you move Councillor Glenzo, second Councillor Vickery, all those in favour, please say aye. Those against, motions. Resolution 14, we allocate an additional $50,000 in the annual plan budget 2020-21 for the maintenance of Council employees. Councilor Plummer, seconded, Councilor Ames, all those in favor, please say aye. All those against, motions carried. We resolve uh, resolution number 15 that we allocate an additional $60,000 operating expenditure and $80,000 capital expenditure in the annual plan budget for 2021 for upgrades to housing for seniors. Moved by Councilor Quinzo, seconded by Councilor. At least, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those against, motions carried. Tough, I understand you. Right. Uh, 
Uh, resolution 16 that we agree that the council will increase the rate to senior housing in 2021 as detailed in the annual plan in the 2021 consultation document. Move Councillor Salento, Secret Councillor Fox, all those in favour please say aye, 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 all those against, it's carried. Resolution 17. We resolved to include additional funding of $600,000 for road and nuclear maintenance and renewal in the annual plan budget for 2021. Food Councillor Gibson, Secretary Councillor Ems, all those in favour, please say aye. All those against, motions carried. Resolution 18 confirms that the annual, annual $375,000 funding for footpath maintenance that was agreed in last year's annual plan. Be included in the end and budget for 2021. Food Councillor A, Secret Councillor Fox, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. All those against, motions carried. Resolution 19, that we include additional funding of $50,000 for urban trees in the end and budget for 2021. Food Councillor Glenzo, Secret Councillor West, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. All those against, Carry. Resolution 20. We, we agree that the council does more in 2021 to provide walking and cycling in the district. Councillor Ems moved, Secretary Councillor Hay, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those against, motion is carried. Resolution 21. The council develops and trades draft waste and organization action plan in 2020-21. Move Councillor Glenslow, Secretary Councillor Fox, all those in favour, please say aye. All those against, motion is carried. Resolution 22, allocating an additional $370,000 in the annual plan budget for 2021 to at least an additional council capability, noting that the council mark budget of $30,000 will be included in the proposed long term plan for 2021. Moved by Councillor Vickery, seconded. Councillor Jepson, all those in favour, please say aye. aye. All those against, motion is carried. Uh, resolution 23 that we allocated $157,000 for community grant funding and $75,000 for youth development grants in the end of the plan budget for 2021. We distributed in accordance with the grants policy with Councillor Clemenzo. Council Fox, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. All those against, the motion is carried. Resolution 24 that we establish a grants subcommittee, a subcommittee of the Finance Board for this committee, to consider applications for grants and distribute funding in accordance with the grants policy. Council of the Great Group, the Private Group, the Second Council of the End. This will happen. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. All those in favor, please say aye. Motion is carried. Resolution 25 that we appoint to the grants subcommittee the mayor and two councillors from each ward selected from members of the finance board and the risk committee in the first instance with other councillors appointed in order to achieve the balance. Group Councillor Jepson, second Councillor Colenzo. All those in favour, please say aye. No, no, no. All those against, motion is carried. Resolution 26. All right. Uh, uh, Councillor Hay, uh, do you want me to make a few minutes in the future? We'll just discuss who should sit on that with the additional councillors uh, as the chair of that committee. Um, what, what, are the, what, are our, what are our options? It's virtually the whole council anyway. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, we've got uh, two from Martin Bates, so we have my name is Risk and Audit, Jeffrey and Pam. We've got two from Martin Bates. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, Martin no, We've got one from Martin and two from Pam. So yeah. what I was going to suggest is that we have, as an alternate approach, our both and the same situation 
in Nigeria to have a um, on the you have links in the back of it from passport, so we have that support. Yeah, a lot of things. So don't say what you need to find. Yes, I'm very clear on this thing to have that it's a useful from the EU to speak to this. The other thing would be that um, the balance of the council discussion would be all kinds I prefer it we get one with an alternate as opposed to we get an argument of who might be a seniority. So the key ones, uh, the key bank is great time. So um the big banks who who would like to be prime who would be alternate? So that's the only resolution we need to Aye. 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 Aye.
Commission's carry. Resolution 28 will be adopted the 2021 annual plan by the coffee table in accordance with section 95 of the local government act 2002. Good. Very much, Councillor Victory. Seconded, Councillor Epps. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. All those against, this motion is carried. Mm -hmm. No, no, do interrupt me because we're racing. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's the 2021. Yeah,
very slow to get started in the first two to three weeks, but when we got going, we were pretty well cool running. So I actually had to commend our counselor for that for picking this up because we were already involved in discussions with them regarding having a zero youth unemployment for South Carolina time for over a two year period. Uh, and so we just picked that up. So, just a quick uh, questions because it's uh, quite intriguing. Um, so is this is vehicle driver licenses, not truck or anything like that? No, no, no. So it's the first stage, so it's getting them through to um, their learners and then the restricted. Because once they've got their restricted, they can drive their employee. Um, in terms of heavy trade licenses, uh, we will look at that in the future. If, if there are, because we, we do know there's lots of heavy trade jobs out there as well, that just takes a lot longer to get them. Going mm -hmm. forward, the focus will be youth, needs, and uh, more employment. So, you know, this first can't go out to an aim for that. It was really anyone who had lost their job in the COVID and moved into employment. It's first, it's not. So, I can't say that. Um, is there any guarantee that these people will stay on the job? Yes. No, no, there's not. Um, and that's part of the, the next stage is that wraparound um, to support not only the employee but also the employer to make sure that uh, uh, any. So, one of the things we do know is that, um, for want of a better term, frustration between employer and employee drives a lot of people out of employment. So, what we want to do is put that wraparound so that there is no so we can remove some of that frustration, particularly with young people about how older employers talk to younger people. It's almost like learning a whole new language if we can put that support around. Maybe that could um, keep some things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much everything. So it was done. Uh, we've done quite a few into hospitality uh, in all three towns. Uh, we've got people into Duke Nisho, we've got people into um, Premier Bacon, we've got people into uh, Higgins, uh, we've got people into Olive Picking, Olive Picking, uh, my team, yeah, my team here. Uh, Mark Burris taking three, I think, one of them, two of them, of course. Uh, what else we've got? Uh, so it's a wide range, it's a wide range. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's pretty much every, every and farming, of course. Um, so, so that way, this was. That they had to be an employee, sorry, they had to be an employee had to be from South Wyoming, but we didn't look anywhere, but the preference was for South Wyoming businesses. Uh, but we were even possible for the kids to be tenable. And uh, we also um, established a new business corporate as well. So, yeah. so um, yeah. dog grooming in South Wyoming. Right. So, oh, so, so that's really <laughs> So, no, so, so we, 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 uh, we, yeah. we're, we're not um, making any value judgments on anything. It's anybody who wants a job. Yeah. In my next job, we're trying to put them together and matching them up. So that's where I'm yeah. really good is actually getting the right person for the right job. The advantage was that they could make work. It was very easy. Uh, also, they didn't have to be registered with um, a social worker. Uh, and it could be part time or season. They were the criteria. Yeah. So, so, so far, so far, so far the, I think probably about 60% of them are full time work. Um, and the rest are uh, 25 hours or more, so it's, it's actually been pretty successful. Mm -hmm. And are we keeping stats on, on, on progress? There'll be a report. Yeah, yeah, we'll be a report. Out. Also, with the request that we found that first, we can be visible as people and make sure it's. So, just the go to person is, is going to be Alan in this case, or is it then they going to come to us? So, 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 people out there know where they go. Yes, they do, yeah. So, we're not there's quite a lot on uh, social media. Um, and uh, since I've got radio as well, so it's been as well. Um, so, yeah, so it, it took a little while to get to find people that wanted a job, but um, now it's picking up people all the time now. Uh, so whether or not um, Alan and his organisation takes over the next stage is yet to be determined. We'll obviously have to have a talk about how we put it because there are other employment agencies. But one of the things that we know is that a lot of the employment agents will. Support agencies work in silos. So, what we want to do is make sure that whatever we do can coordinate that to be more. So, we will have a early able guys more than one. That's coming from some of the employers and training agencies. So, we've got training agencies and partners to make sure that we've got the right structure. Thank you, guys, for the 
and training the chickens. Um, is that in the scope of the project? Yeah, we need to go forward and we still need to make sure it's out with the ET uh, good colleagues. Like I said, yeah. in the, in the future, training is training very much part of it, but right now, in the first 30 days, it was really just one person to get a job. Uh, and that, yeah, that was it. And again, Alan has taken a lot of notes of um, where there is a requirement for training and this sort of thing. So that's coming first. Um, just a comment on that. Um, the government people uh, recently a whole bunch of new money um, across all centres. So it would be very much worthwhile to consider um, the people that have been able to access employment for getting a dialogue line between them and employer. So pretty much it's like a kind of job in centres that we run in New Zealand. This is one model on building a full train will be funded. So all, so all the all the training organisations will be invited to other group as well. So it's so it's going to be government agencies. Um, uh, so the issues like Yeti and Re and then training organisations. So it's anyone to involve to uh, getting people to want to cover this first route so we can get all those that stuff in there. Um, so, so we'll take a report on how it went and what's going forward. You know, we'll the next bit, this area, so we're going to resources right now. Excellent. Fantastic initiative, I think it's great. Um, just a quick question, what was the spread uh, between the three towns? Do you know? We haven't done that. We haven't done that. We'll have that done, but I haven't done that. But it's from all the towns. It's just whoever came to us. Fantastic. Uh, I think you've got over the first year when you've got about the money and I've had no other opportunities of funding to follow up. I think it would be because of this whole notion of funding avenues out there if you can. Yeah. Yeah, so well done, guys. We were a bit nervous for a while, they were at the halfway back, like I was saying, but Gallery. Gallery has really done a huge service on to that region. So we're going to be doing a lot of things in the public please. If one, uh, now the reasons we're being asked to consider is to protect the privacy of individual individuals and so the council can carry out negotiations. First of all, we're saying to get any of the things that we have to ask Anyway, yeah, we, not something we do lightly, we have to choose that we have to pay for the rules of the So, do we have a moment to exclude the public from touching the people that are under the limits by grace our proceedings in accordance with section 48 of the AE as I did by the agenda? Thank you very much, Councillor. Best and single council for the answer of those things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was plans, promotions, cap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 